Hey there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know I am. Hope you enjoyed that video at the start of this video. That's going to be the subject of today's lesson. Um, I actually recorded the initial video back in, uh, I think it was December 2012. So in December, it will be seven years ago that I did it. Jesus Christ, man. Where does time go? It's, it's bonkers, mate. Um, Anyway, so I, I went back to it, had a quick little look. I haven't actually worked on it as I, because uh, that's what I do, that's what I'm doing with all of these videos. I'm not going to work it out, you know, prior to doing the video. Uh, I'm just going to work it out on screen. So you can see me mess up all over the shop. Um, but, uh, you know, it's a good idea to do that because you get an, a glimpse of what it's really, really like. You know, I don't want to don't want you to see all the perfect videos. You know, it's important to see the the uh, the nightmare that goes on behind the scenes. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is a little uh, uh, jazzy lick uh, over a two five one chord progression in E major. So it's F sharp minor seven to B uh, and then to E. Um, so we get this kind of thing. <laughs> Okay, so um, there's some altered stuff in there, but I'll explain that as I go along, if I can figure it out, that is. Okay, so let's get to it. I'm babbling on, I'm digressing as always. So let's do it. So we start at the root of the minor seven. So uh, I know straight away, if I can, whoops, get the, get the basic progression, you know, in terms of the chord shapes where they exist and the arpeggios and everything, it's gonna make it a hell of a lot easier. And I know I traverse up the fretboard here and then back down. So we're over the F sharp now. I know that's the first part because I do that all the time, maybe a bit too much. No, uh, that's not right. No, it's not quite right, that. Uh, yeah, that's it, that's it. Now we've got it. So that's over the F sharp minor seven chord. Um, so one, two, three, and I remember this because we've got this little picking pattern which moves down. And that's over the B7. That's it. That's it. Let's do it again. Back a tone. Down a minor third, down a major third. It's funny actually, because it's all com coming flooding back when I practiced this back in the day. Um, that's generally how I think about things. I, I think about when I'm doing position shifts, you know, whether it's a major third, minor third, or whatever, and concentrate on the index finger movement to guide me in, in the next position. <laughs> Minor third, major third, another major third over B. So what do we have? So we've got sharp five, third, flat nine, and this is like a passing tone going to the fifth of E. Okay, but it doesn't stop there, uh, and I know something uh, continues that. That's it. Let me take it back from here. That's it. Okay, and then we go to a minor ninth here. Uh, bear with me, I'll get it soon. Yes.
That's it. That's it. <laughs> I remember that because that slide comes on a on a weak beat. That's the whole thing. That is the whole thing. God damn it. Oh for God's sake. Uh, where was I? That's the whole thing. That's it, okay. Not too fast, so I need to practice this nice and slowly. Slide up, minor third, major third, major third. This is a bit tricky because of the stretch. Okay, <laughs> that's great to play. Pretty challenging though, I do have to say. Some of the, these positions here, I've got to be really careful with that part. Got to be careful with all of it, to be honest. But that is it. In fact, why don't we do it over the backing track? Let's do it. Okay, so there we have it. That's, I think that was number three of the Rick's Quick But Slick Licks series. Uh, there's loads of them, check them out if, if you get the time. Uh, also, if you want me to do a specific lick, just like this video, to go over it and, uh, and to sort of challenge me to play it uh, properly, that is, then uh, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and uh, I'll have a scan through it and see what's what. Uh, just a quick reminder here, still 50% off lessons from my website. Get over there, download lesson content. Uh, it's a great way to support what I'm doing so I can continue to do videos like this. Anyway, I think that about wraps everything up. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.